Hello friends and welcome to the very beginning of my exploration of the interesting world of spatial audio. This is something I have been shelving for quite some time now and it's gotten to the point where I can't ignore it anymore. Let's get to it. Spatial audio is meant to take your listening experience to the next level. Who wouldn't want the sensation of sounds moving all around them or the element of surprise when a noise comes from behind you during a scary movie? What would you say if I told you that you can bring this experience home with you without buying, you know, ridiculously expensive gear? Spatial audio is also becoming a thing in the music world. I do feel the music side is still I don't know, in its infancy stages, but it's here and it's now and it can't be ignored. So let's start by understanding how spatial audio actually works. Before spatial audio, surround sound was confined to specific speakers. For instance, voices usually came from the center speaker and background effects from the rear speakers. Traditional 5.1 is what most people have or had at one point. Two fronts, a center, two rear speakers accompanied by a subwoofer. Nothing wrong with this configuration. It's actually what I still use in my main uh, living area. But spatial audio changes things a bit. Instead of locking sounds to a specific speaker, it places them in a three-dimensional space. Imagine a sound above and to the right of the center speaker based on your system. It can create the illusion that the sound is coming from that precise location without there being a speaker in that location, if that makes sense. It can also add a vertical dimension, creating a dome of sound. You could hear a helicopter flying above your head or a sense of a bullet whizzing past your ear. It's an immersive auditory trip for sure. Try watching John Wick with this feature and you, you will love it, I guarantee it. I just recently tested this out on my Sonos speaker system that I am in actually in the process of reviewing and it was definitely an experience I was not ready for. When it comes to music, the effect is a bit intriguing. Artists are now specially mixing and mastering their music specifically for spatial audio. I found that it can create a separation of instruments that crafts a very wide soundstage. It's a unique, sometimes disorienting experience that can reveal new dimensions and sound in your music. I still feel that this technology is just scratching the surface and I'm really interested in what the future developments bring to the table. Now to take advantage of spatial audio, you'll need the right gear. The simplest way to do it is through headphones or earbuds or just single speakers designed for spatial audio. You don't need anything extravagant. Most headphones will do if your device supports Atmos. Apple has its take on spatial audio, adding an extra layer when using the AirPods Pro or Pro Max or, you know, or even some Beats headphones, as I recently discovered while doing a review of the Studio Pros for Soundstage Solo. It has a feature that allows you to turn your head and the sound remains centered on your playback device. So you, you can, as you turn your head, it feels like the sound is coming from the front. And it was okay. I mean, not blowing my mind just yet, but it, it, it worked the way it was supposed to. If you prefer a single speaker configuration, you're in luck. Many sound bars like the Sonos Arc, which I have in my bedroom, and can handle at most content because it has the speakers that fire up. The key is to look for sound bars with those up firing speakers for that Dolby Atmos vertical effect. There are a couple by Samsung that I actually really like. I'll leave links down in the description. Now for the music lovers, there are speakers like Amazon's Echo Studio, Apple's HomePod, and my favorite, the Sonos's Era 300, all supporting Dolby Atmos because they have that up firing faux Atmos speaker. They're all like a newer breed of speakers that can handle spatial audio and traditional stereo music. More of these options will likely hit the market soon, you know, and I'll be there to enjoy it. But for the ultimate spatial audio experience, you'll have to open up your wallet just a little bit and consider a multi-speaker system. Whether it's a sound bar with separate rear speakers like I have, or a full home theater audio system, the more speakers you have, the more immersive the experience becomes. It may seem like a crazy investment, but it's the way to truly embrace the world of spatial audio. Without those rear speakers, you'd miss out on the full sound immersion, and those height speakers are necessary for the vertical effect. You can save on the height speakers if you want to keep things reasonable, and do speakers like the Era 300 by Sonos, which have built-in speakers on the top that creates the illusion as if you had height speakers. It actually works. To sum things up, spatial audio is, in my opinion, a game changer while you're enjoying movies and video games, mind you. 
It fully immerses you in sound and elevates your experience without needing the top of the line cinema speakers and components and all that other stuff. You can start small with headphones or a single speaker, but the more speakers you integrate, the more insane things become. I honestly thought spatial audio was going to be just another gimmick, another fart in the wind that passes through the audio world. I don't see that happening with spatial audio since Apple, Sony, and many other heavy hitters have adopted the technology and are creating forward thinking products. They're readying themselves for what's to come. I still believe the music side of it remains relatively uncertain right now. I'll be honest, I know I'm kind of tippy toeing around it. I didn't really care for it. But if you watch movies at home or an avid gamer, like this new technology will literally blow your mind. I hope you enjoyed my first of many videos to come on spatial audio. I'm sure as the technology progresses, so will my videos. And as I mentioned, I will be doing an in-depth review of my Sonos system, which I think will hit in about a week or less. If you had a good time and got something from this video, make sure to time travel with the like button. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I'll see you on the next one, my friends. Take care.